outside. What is going on outside? It's raining. It's raining. Good morning, beautiful, strong, happy, and healthy people. So today in Brisbane, we have been raining for a couple of days now, and it's saying it's going to rain for a few more. But the problem is we are flooding. So everything is starting to go under. My parents have been sending videos all morning of their garage very close to about to start hitting water. So the problem is I realized that where our two gym locations are, are also flood zones. So this morning we're going to have breakfast, get this little man ready, and we're going to go pick up all our equipment because if we don't buy, if we don't save this, it's about $100,000 worth of equipment we could lose. So we're gonna go and make sure all our gyms, are, our studios are fine and go grab the main machines to make sure we're not gonna lose them if it does flood even more overnight. And we'll see what cancellations are like this week because I think quite a few people are gonna start canceling because I think a lot of suburbs um, are down under. So let's get ready, feed this dude, and then let's go save our Ooh. equipment, okay? Are you helping Papai cook breakfast? Uh. Yeah? Nah. Luckiest girl in the world. What happened to our apartment? I'm not playing my mind. This is the end of our street, the park. That's the play equipment. That's someone's nice BMW. Wowza. Ooh. Holy crap. Okay, we won't go that way. Okay, so trying to go straight. So far, not gonna work out. Find a different way? Let's try. I don't think we're ever gonna get to the gym. So I'm at the studio, everything is looking pretty good. Um, no water up here, but I'm just hearing the guy and apparently down there is so flooded. So I'm just going to take home all the expensive stuff and just move a few things off the ground just in case it does flood up here, but we're a little bit higher in the gym. So up here, I think is a little bit safer. So we're trying to go check on the other gym and we can't even get there. It is completely flooded the whole road. So Tiago's gonna go for a walk through this and try and go to the gym. It's one our area is underground, so we're gonna see if any water has gotten in. If it does, it'll go completely under and damage everything. So he's gonna go in and then we're gonna hopefully see what the damage is. Me and Elon are just standing here and Tiago has taken his shoes off and gone for a walk towards the gym to go check on it. Fun times. Do you want to help me move this? Because it's downstairs, so the water starts getting heated. A little bit here. We move everything. Which is good. From this side there, it's close to the off. So, close tomorrow. And let's see how it goes. Think. What do you think? Hmm? 
Are we gonna go under? Are we gonna go under? Yeah, I know. So I don't, it's not yeah, I'm this one. Yes, which is what happened. Uh, there was a car under over there before. Oh no, it's still under. Never mind. It's still under. It had its lights on. People might think we're trying to go in. So the gym is not flooded, but all the walls are starting to bubble. So there is water coming in, but we highly doubt the water is going to rise like it did in 2011 and will put us underwater. But pretty much all the roads are flooded to get in now the gym, so we will shut today. So I'm going to shut tomorrow. So I will go home and message everyone to say that when we shut, and we'll come back in the morning and see if there's any damage or what we need to do. But we'll do a pretty good spring clean. And then next, now I'm going to go to my parents' house and go see if their garage is at risk because that's where all our toys are and our beautiful Christmas tree. So that's the most important thing. <laughs> if my Christmas tree goes under, I want to cry every Just Christmas forever, swim. forever. Uh, oh God, yeah, so high. I've never seen so many people outside the houses. Everyone is so in. Look so, like... yeah, so high. let's try and figure out how to get out of here. So, that was our way. So, on this building, the Chaga Moose's head, you can see these markers, and they are measurements of where the floods have gone up to in the past. It's and then, yeah. all the way at the top is the other one was 1984 all the way up there so the whole of Tuong is underwater so this water this area does flood welcome to Australia we're near the park the whole park is underwater like every single like picnic area the whole park's underwater yeah yeah like on the roof yeah. there oh stop driving well it looks like I'm gonna have to walk through some water. So I'm... There's stairs there, you know, go straight into the water. Yes, there was a car there. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the car's not there anymore. Can you see how strong it is, how much water is coming here. Imagine being in that house right there. How nervous would you be right now? The river hasn't even hit our garages. So this is a full boat pile up. This is a lot of boats just piled there. Oh my god. Like really nice boats. I hope no one is staying in their boat. Wow, it is all boats. There are so many. Wow. All boats and pontoons. What's going on? Like, you can walk there sometimes, not today. Oh. Well, the market shut today. Quick lights. This is kind of how this should be. You turn when ready. These lights are annoying. Although these guys need to turn right, they're screwed. It's okay, we're getting fixed. Hi. Yeah, we're so high. As if you put your car there. I would be moving. If I was any of these cars, I would move. Jesus. We have lakeside view in our apartment. Does that mean uh, it's more expensive? Alrighty. Good thing someone put some bins there. Oh my god, there's a car there. It's the same bin there, isn't it? No, the red one. Oh. oh. And that car's going next. Why are your lights on? Maybe they're putting stuff in your house. Oh 
we can jump on that boat. So it's still super raining here in Brisbane and the studios look okay, just a bit of water, but all our equipment is good. We have canceled all our sessions for tomorrow. And uh, tonight we're just staying home, we've got the kids, and we're going to start doing our meal prepping for the week. So that is completely done. We're currently meal prepping for our parents as well. So they're going to do about 40 meals. And then we'll maybe hang out, put the kids to bed, and see what everything is tomorrow. Go to the studios and see what the damage is. Right, team? Bye-bye, we're done. Bye-bye. And Bye-bye's gonna put it in the water.